Hi, I'm Pat Walter, and I am the owner and webmaster of the Surface Hippie website. Today, I celebrate my 15th anniversary of receiving my Birmingham hip resurfacing from Dr. DeSmet in Belgium in 2006. I started the website in 2005 to put a reference up for people to learn about hip resurfacing. Unfortunately, most orthopedic surgeons back then, and even now, don't tell people about hip resurfacing. It is a very successful hip replacement surgery for the proper candidate if it's done by a very experienced surgeon. The experienced surgeons that have done thousands have excellent outcomes and very high retention rates. What is a hip resurfacing? Instead of cutting off a portion of your femur bone and then putting a long rod down what's left of your femur, hip resurfacing simply takes the femur ball and reshapes it a little bit, places a cap on it, half a hemisphere, and then in your acetabulum, there's a cup, which is the same as for a total hip replacement. And that way, you have a bearing surface, but it's the same size as your original a femur bone, and nothing has been cut off or moved, so your gait and your whole body is still in the same balance that it was before your surgery. Usually, you have a fairly quick recovery. I had a very quick one with no problems. And many athletes and very active people and military and service people like hip resurfacing because there's no restrictions after you heal. And there are marathon runners and Ironman uh, competition <laughs> folks and firemen and policemen and military men that have, and women that have all had their hips done. There were a handful of hip resurfacing devices back in 2006. The Birmingham Hip Resurfacing, or BHR, by Smith & Nephew, was the first one to be FDA approved in the United States. Then several others came along, which were approved, uh, but in the meantime, a, a couple had actual problems and required revisions, and one just simply decided to no longer have their device available in the U.S. <clears throat> Uh, back a few years ago, Smith & Nephew decided that they would only provide sizes for men in the BHR. No women or small men were suggested to have their device, even though many of them in the past have successful hip resurfacings. So if you're a woman or you're a small man, you only have a few options left. One is Dr. Gross in South Carolina who uses the Biomet and Cementless at this point, and Dr. Pritchett in uh, Seattle, which uses the Sonova Preserve System. They do women, and they're exceptionally successful, and have done thousands, four or five, six thousands of these successfully. And of course, overseas, there are other surgeons that still do women, and they have other devices available to them. So it's a little more difficult for a woman but it can still be done. If you have an active life and you don't want restrictions, you just need to look farther. There are some exciting developments in types of devices. The big interest and in development now is ceramic on ceramic hip resurfacing. There have been ceramic total hip replacements for a long time, but hip resurfacing is just a slightly different type of device. And there's a, a few devices now being tested. Dr. DeSmet is using the Resurf now, and he's done, I think, almost 80 people. Um, uh, Professor Cobb has done a big test series with the H1. So there are new devices coming, always exciting changes, and hip resurfacing is still an excellent option for the right candidate, a person that wants to be active, normally a younger person. So I keep my website up to date. It's been years. There are over 1,500 personal stories and they're categorized by surgeon. 
And there's a hip talk discussion group of over 5,000 members, and there's thousands of stories there. So you can come to the website, surfacehippie.info, and learn all about hip resurfacing, read personal stories, uh, talk to people in the forum, people that are very friendly, they're very supportive, they'll answer questions, and find out information about surgeons. So there are very few resources, but surfacehippie.info is one of them. And I still, after 16 years, continue to develop and update the website to help folks looking for an alternative to a total hip replacement. So I am 77 in a month, and I still have my BHR, never had a problem, never regret going to Belgium, and I'm hoping to take it to my grave with me. I hope to give you another update in another 5 or 10 years. Thank you.